everybody welcome to my youtube channel if you are an old subscriber welcome back and if you are a new one thanks for stopping by please do subscribe to my youtube channel and press the notification bell because you don't want to miss any video from my side i got this gel nail polish on my nails approximately two weeks back and uh, technically you know, I should have gone to the person again to get it removed and to get a new one if I wanted. But I have been being so lazy that I just don't feel like going there. And I thought of, you know, removing them at home. And like any sensible person, I explored the world of YouTube to find out, you know, what are the best ways of removing it and whatsoever and all that stuff all the information that i could gather so today actually tonight is the time when i was you know i just sat with all my stuff to you know like go with the procedure and i thought that let's record a video because it will be you know a different kind of a video where i don't know the result like i don't know what is going to happen but it will be a nice you know like trying something video and finding out the result Honestly speaking, no part of the method that I'm going to apply in this particular video is originally developed by me. I just saw a lot of YouTube videos and I like, just came to a conclusion to a number of steps that I could do to, you know, uh, remove this gel nail paint at home. And I just wanted to share this experience with you guys so that we can find out together whether these methods, they actually work or they don't. One method that works for sure, which also the nail uh, people do is that they take that buffer and they just uh, rub it over the nail paint so it like it scrapes off but yes it is super damaging so that is a short short method but i would suggest you to leave it to the professionals because anyway it is a very damaging method so it's better that you don't do it yourself and uh, i'm just going to show you what all i am going to do and how successful or unsuccessful i will be so please continue watching if you want to know what's going to happen to my gel nail paint. You will be needing a very strong acetone for it. The mild one won't do. Then you'll be needing 10 small cotton pieces. Uh, the size of the cotton piece should be just enough to cover your nail. Then you'll be needing 10 square uh, pieces of the foil, the silver foil. This we will use to wrap our nails. And after that, we'll be needing this uh, ice cream sticks to scrape the nail paint off. And basically need just four things, a strong acetone, small cotton pieces, uh, 10 foil pieces, and some ice cream sticks now the number first step is to take one small cotton piece and you have to put a lot of remover into it like you literally have to drench it completely in the remover then you will place it over your nail properly and this is the reason why cutting such small cotton pieces helps a lot and after that we will take a uh, square uh, foil paper and we'll cover the thumb uh, nail with it completely you have to make sure that it is sealed properly and also don't forget to close uh, this acetone otherwise it will all evaporate there it is secured properly i will uh, demonstrate the whole thing again on my index finger you, i will take a small cotton piece drench it with the remover prop, uh, completely then i'll place it on uh, the nail and i'll cover it with the silver foil and seal it properly so this is exactly what you're supposed to do for all the fingers After all the fingers are done, we will wait for at least 20 minutes and uh, 15 minutes will also do but I think 20 minutes will be a good time so that the entire thing can really work. After 20 minutes are over, I will start removing the foil one by one and I'll start scraping the nail paint using the ice cream stick and uh, the first is the index finger and uh, as you can see, um, something is happening. I mean, a little bit of nail paint is coming off, which is a good thing, but I wouldn't say that it is very smooth. It is taking a lot of effort from my side to actually scrape it off. So let's see how far it will go. Also, I'm sorry about the lights. I know it is making the visibility a little difficult, but I think it's quite evident that approximately 40% of the nail paint is off, but the nail paint on the tips is very stubborn. It is not coming off even after applying too much pressure. 
never mind i'll leave it there and i'll start doing the next finger and i can see that the seal is broken so i am hoping for better results on this one and i'll start scraping and you can see chunks of nail paint are coming off which is exactly how i wanted it to be but the rest of the nail paint is coming out in powdery form and again the nail paint on the tips is still stubborn and still very much there not ready to buy Although I'm not able to understand that why is it happening, why is this method performing well for half of the nail and not performing well for the remaining half. Um, anyway, I'll do the same thing for all the other nails and uh, see how the final outcome will be. So I have done this whole thing on my this hand and as you saw the results, like I just did these five fingers. So I would say that it was 50% successful because uh, only half of my <laughs> nail paint is removed. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll repeat the entire process. I know it's laborious but I have no other option. I cannot carry these nails. So I'm going to repeat the entire process and uh, try to get rid of this also. So I foiled my fingers again and after that I did the biggest mistake of my life. I tried to create some extra heat by the use of blow dry. It did create extra heat but it was unbearable. My cuticles were literally burning. I mean I cannot even explain that feeling to you. And after a tiring wait of 15 minutes I will remove the foil and start scraping off the nail paint again. And as you can see it's the same story again a little bit of nail paint is coming off but most of it is still there being stubborn as it was okay to my utter disappointment no miracle is happening and a lot of nail paint is still there even after my second attempt i am not able to get rid of my nail paint completely and it is a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of burning sensation around your cuticle so i would suggest you like instead of doing all this just either purchase a buffer and buff it all off or just get it done by a professional that is the best advice I can give you because like it might have worked for a lot of people but for me it worked but it is not as effective as people claim it to be I still have a lot of nail paint left and I have no clue of what I'm going to do for this. I would probably buff it all off and get rid of it. But uh, anyway, the overall idea of uh, shooting this video was to, you know, share my experiment with you people and to, you know, share the real time result of this method with you all. I so wanted it to work. In fact, I was really looking forward to it and i was pretty confident that it will work especially considering the kind of heat that got generated but unfortunately it did not work completely uh, for me if you have any better idea of removing gel nails at home that has worked for you and can work for me please write it in the comment section below i would love to try it because i have to figure out a way of getting uh, rid of these gel nails at home because you know it's so convenient you know going to the nail shop every time it's just too time consuming but uh, it didn't work for me but anyway it was just a video that i shot for experience and that i did and yeah i'll see you again with a new video until then bye bye take care and lots of love